Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the 2016 Destiny Halloween event. If you guys remember last year, around Halloween time, Bungie did go ahead and release a little bit of a Halloween event. They actually went ahead and let us collect 17 Halloween masks. And then, if you were lucky enough to earn the paper glue, which was a legendary material for that small amount of time during the Halloween event, you could actually keep some of these masks forever. And when I checked in my vault, I actually did remember that I did still have a few of the masks left over, including the rare engram mask, as well as the Skolos mask. So every time I bring these masks out, everyone is always asking me, you know, how do you get these masks? Because they do look pretty awesome. I know the Skolos mask is my favorite. But these masks, they do look pretty amazing. And every time that I bring them out, everyone's always asking me, you know, how do you get these masks? Will they ever come back? You know, how is it that we actually go ahead and get these masks? You know, some people wanted to know if they were still in the game. Well, unfortunately, they aren't for in the game forever unless you play around Halloween time. Well, the good news is, at first, no, last year when we first got them, this was the first time we had ever even seen the masks in the game. And everyone wasn't really sure, you know, will we ever see the masks again? Is this going to be the only time that we can even get masks? Or, you know, how, will they come back next year? You know, no one ever really knew for sure. Well, yesterday I was going over the Bungie update. You know, I was just looking into some information. They just released a bunch of stuff about the hard mode raid and uh, some light level increases and a few other things. But after, as I got to the end of the Bungie update, I looked very closely at the bottom. And they have a little line here that really struck my interest and made me think about the 2016 Halloween event and whether or not we can see these Halloween masks come back and whether or not they'll actually go ahead and confirm that from Bungie. So if we take a very close look here at the Bungie update posted yesterday, we can look at the very bottom. It says, this is just a preview of what you will find in 2.4.1. Deployment begins approximately 10 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday. And to ensure that everyone has time to download the update, the raid will not be released until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, October 18th. Now that's really awesome. If you guys were interested in doing the hard mode raid, I know I definitely am pretty interested in doing that. Reaching 400 light level is going to be pretty amazing. That drops on Tuesday, 5 p.m. for everybody, and you should be able to get that started and download at about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. Now that's it for the raid, but if you look just below that, there are, there's another line here that says there are more changes to come. Those announcements are yet to be unmasked. In the meantime, we're looking for heroes to brave a harder raid. So is this a little sneak peek? Is this like Bungie giving us a little, like, they're kind of putting a pun there in the end saying that it's hidden features still haven't been unmasked. And now the only thing I could really think about this whole quote is whether, well, they might be bringing the masks back. You know, in 2016, Halloween is just around the corner and they still have not brought those Halloween masks back or had any word or anything about those Halloween masks ever since they left last year until this quote here. So the changes have yet to be unmasked. So I don't know whether or not Bungie's just trolling us or if they're actually giving us a little bit of a heads up finally about what they're bringing in the next couple weeks. But I think this is pretty safe to say that the Bungie update in about a week and a half or so will include the Halloween masks. You know, anytime that Bungie uses these play on words or anything like that, they usually mean it and they do back them up sometime down the road. So for all you guys that are super hyped up and, you know, wanting to get these masks, you may be able to actually get them here in a few weeks. I'm definitely going to go out ahead and try to collect a few more masks Last year I was only able to get two because I wasn't really playing very much and there were about 17 masks, you know, there's a ton of masks and I'm sure we'll even see some more masks come into play now that the Rise of Iron and the Taken King have come out. I'm sure that we may actually see some new masks, so we're not really too sure whether or not we're going to get the same mask as last year or we're going to get some new masks or just the same mask and some added masks. We're not really too sure, but let me know, are you guys hyped for these masks to come back? Let me know in the comments, do you think this is legit? Let me know what you think. Now, if you guys did not like this and you thought that these masks were stupid, be sure to leave some comments down below what you guys think that the Halloween event should be. I'm definitely pretty interested. I mean, I definitely like the Halloween masks, but it would be really awesome if there was like some Halloween Skolos themed event or maybe even a secret strike that was only available, you know, during the Halloween event. But let me know, what do you guys think the Halloween event should be for 2016? Do you like the masks ideas or do you think that they should add some more stuff in as well? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys did like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.